So the first of the tree structures that we're going to talk about is kind of not really a tree. It sort of is, but it, it sort of isn't. Kind of. It's, it's a heap. And there's two types of heaps, and there are, there's two rules depending on which type of heap you use. You can either follow the rule that the parent is greater than the children, or you can follow the rule that the parent is less than the children. Okay. Those are the only two rules, and so you just have to choose one. So this is a max heap, and this is a min heap. Okay, so if we have some numbers on our heap, if we have some numbers on our heap, the only rule is that the parent is always greater than the children. It doesn't matter whether a node on one side is bigger than a node on the other side. Okay. In a in a heap, or the only rule is that the parent is bigger than a ch the children, or that the parent is smaller than the children. So we've got a min heap, and in a min heap, the smallest value is on top, and in a max heap, the largest value is on top. It doesn't matter which one you use, and it's obviously very easy to change. You just change a greater than to a less than, or vice versa. It doesn't matter which one you use, depending on what you want to use it for. Okay? Presumably, you want to do this so that you've got some data structure where you've got the smallest value on the top, or the largest value on the top. And so it's kind of up to the downstream application, depending on whether you're going to use a max heap or a min heap. Let's have a look at the height. Let me just improve this, min, this max heap a little bit so that we actually keep things on about the same level. There we go. Here's our max heap. Now notice that in our max heap, actually in any heap, in any tree, on this level we have one element. Okay. On this level we've got one from the root plus these two, so three things. On level two, we've got these four plus these three, so we've got seven. And then on the next level down, we've got a total of 15 items. Remember when I was numbering the tree in the traversals, we always ended up on 15. So this is n. And this is, for example, the level 0, 1, 2, 3. Or we can talk about the height of the tree. And the height of the tree is the number of edges on the longest path from the root to the leaf. So the height of the tree here is 0. The height of the tree is 1. The height of the tree is 2. The height of the tree is 3. Okay. And then if we calculate log base 2, of n plus 1, and we're going to subtract 1 from that. n plus 1 is 2. Log base 2 of 1 minus 1 is 0. When n is 3, 
n plus 1 is 4, log base 2 of 4 is 2, oops, go subtract 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. When n is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, log base 2 of 8 is 3, minus 1 is 2. When n is 15, n plus 1 is 16, log base 2 of 16 is 4, minus 1 is 3. Okay? So if we know how many elements we have in our tree, we can calculate how the height of the tree, the number of levels in the tree.